Legal ethics can be daunting. Do you have an ethical dilemma? Are you unsure of what to do? Are your actions breaching your duty of confidentiality to your client? Well, here's a list of do's and don'ts to guide you. Number one, do not discuss confidential details of your client. Attorney-client communications, be it written or oral statements, are strictly confidential, so don't go telling your partner or your kids or anybody else about your client's ongoing case without your client's consent. However, do reveal intention of a client to commit a crime. So if you believe on reasonable grounds that your client is serious about a threat to harm others, then you are facing a serious ethical dilemma. Although maintaining your client's confidence is paramount, you may disclose the confidential information to the proper authorities if it is to avoid the probable commission of a serious criminal offence. 3. Do not use confidential client information for personal advantage. Information that a solicitor obtains about his client's affairs may be confidential and must not be used for the benefit of persons not authorised by the client. You should not use such information for your own purposes, except with consent of your client after full disclosure. Although it may seem like a good idea when getting this windfall gain at the time, maybe consider the not so desired consequences. Now let's look at talking to the media. Although it's not prohibited, you are walking on dangerous grounds and it can raise some serious ethical issues. Do not publicly state that an accused facing trial is guilty or innocent. Talking to the media can easily be seen as a form of headline seeking, which may damage your reputation. This does little to improve your client's case, particularly when it is done without any apparent compelling reason. Number 5. Do not publish an accused criminal record shortly before the trial. Publishing this material may compromise a fair trial on the administration of justice. This is because it may prejudice the judge, magistrate or jury against the defendant. 6. Do not publish damaging material about a party or a witness who is giving evidence in a trial. During a trial, anything that may shed light on the accuracy, truthfulness and sincerity of a witness can be brought out by the parties in a case. Thus, you can introduce evidence attacking the credibility of a witness to the judge or jury, but what you cannot do is fabricate this evidence by releasing damaging material about them. In publishing this material, you can quickly end up on the wrong end of disciplinary proceedings or even a defamation suit. So if you follow these few simple guidelines, your ethical dilemmas about confidentiality should be over.